Hello everyone, it's Rory Pratt from Pratt's Pods and today I'm going to show you uh, a very common issue with iPod Touch. Um, so this is an iPod Touch 5th generation, yeah, same as the 6th, uh, button won't click. So very common, I see loads of these um, and basically we're just going to replace the button mechanism just like the last video I showed you, um, which was for an iPad um, opposed to iPod. Right, so, first of all, you've got to get into it. Um, sorry, I should have done that before. I usually use a little bit of heat just to loosen the adhesive at the bottom of the screen. Um, I'll stick it on my heat mat for a moment. So the heat comes through. Bear with me just a moment. I should have done this before I started the video. That'll probably do. So using this is an isesimo there you go that just goes straight through that adhesive there sorry excuse me it's a bit warm so i've got the window open and obviously traffic coming past so that's the bottom done and then around the sides is just a case of unclipping but what I'll do is I'll get in here put in something there to keep it up and then we just come around the edge you have to be careful because the frame is tiny and you don't want to damage the LCD I know the first time I did one of these I didn't even know that the frame could be removed, so uh, it's like anything the first time you do it, it's always not going to go quite to plan, is it, when you're still getting into things, but that was many years ago, so now we basically just work our way around the edge here, hearing them clips go. Looks like this clip's not out. Again, you've got to be really careful because the display on these is right by the frame. The display's still good. And then we're going to move over to this side. So, obviously, as our name, Pratt's Pods. We've uh, always done iPods. When we first started our business, obviously with the name as it is. Um, when we first started the business, all we ever did was iPods. That was the big thing at the time. I keep checking that that LCD's all right. So, uh, yeah, we still get an awful lot of iPods in. Not obviously as many as we do with phones or anything like that, but because we have perhaps pods as our name, um, people know that we do iPods. So this home button itself has actually come off, but as you can see, so basically, just like with the iPads, there should be a black, dot in the middle here and when that's not there there's nothing for the home button to press and um, obviously if I press that now it will work but when it's all together the button's basically not touching it um, so what I'm going to do is turn this off quickly um, I'm going to go over to the other desk I'll take the camera with me and um, we're just going to replace this mechanism um, I'm going to steal it out of um, probably an iPad Air home button flex, uh, that tends to be the easiest one to get them off. Um, I'm going to do that and I'll come back on the other desk and show you guys how it's done. Right, so I'm back here now with this iPod. Um, I'm just going to put a little bit of flux, only a little bit, over here. 
and then going to get some solder and put that over the top of what's there to make it low melt comes off a bit easier again I'll say the same as I did with the uh, iPad one so there you go there is the old button off so as I said earlier with the iPad one um, this is really the sort of repair that everyone should be able to do anyone that does repairs this is just about some of the easiest um, soldering work about so um, most repairers should be able to do this if they don't some of my video maybe they'll learn something and move on to be able to do it maybe they'll train themselves excuse my hand it's probably a bit in the way just making sure the area is nice and clean here Okay, so now that's all cleaned off nicely. I'm just going to put a tiny, tiny bit of flux again, only a little bit over the contacts where the new button's going to go. Okay, here is my new button. Now I'm just going to solder this back on. Again, I'm going to reiterate how easy this really is. With it being it's about the easiest repair you can do when you've got a soldering iron, this and charging ports. So uh, if you have a repairer or you are a repairer and you have any questions, please just feel free to drop us a message. We're always happy to help out other repairers. The other day we're all in the same boat. I am working on building up a community of repairers in the UK. So again, if you're a repairer, um, please feel free to drop us a message. I now have um, a group with I think nearly 300 people in which are all like-minded repairers um, of all different experience. So you've got people like myself that do the board level, you've got some people that do the screen refurbs, uh, and you also have people that just do standard repairs. So there's a good mix of us. Um, we all try and help each other out where we can. Um, it'll be great to have you as a part of that if you're a repairer. So that's all nice and clean now. Clicks well. It just needs to. I think that flex has moved itself up a bit. I'm going to move it down, and I've just popped off one of them connections. So I'm going to move this down, and then make sure that that's all soldered well, because I'm pretty sure I just knocked one of them out of place. Or moving the flex this is the one problem with soldering onto a flex so yeah just um sorry about that just had a call so that is all connected well it is now clicking as it should so what i should find is if i turn this on now and zoom out i have to excuse me because the home button's actually come loose i'm gonna have to get some adhesive to stick this back in but just so I can show you for now. This back here. This bad boy over the top. So, excuse that, that's not going to be lined up properly and it's not going to look great for now but I will sort that out so once it comes on we're actually going to have to click the button good click to it at the moment and while we're waiting I'll go back over to my standard desk 
so. really need to get a new tripod. So, one iPod with a working home button. Perfect. So it's that simple. Um, again, it should be something that most repairers should be able to do, although unfortunately they don't. Um, so my name is Rory Pratt, the company is Pratt's Podge Limited and Micro Soldering Repairs, .co .uk. Um, so we do all this kind of stuff and we try and teach other people how to do it to an extent as well. Um, obviously if you're not capable of doing any of that, more than welcome to get in touch. Um, we'd be more than happy for you to outsource repairs like this to us. Um, we do work for a lot of other businesses um, that, that do repairs. So we do a lot of, a lot of business to business stuff for repair shops and repairing the stuff that they can't fix or they've not got the capabilities all the time to. Um, so that's Rory Pratt from Pratt's Pods, um, here to lend that helping hand. Thank you very much.